In this video I'm going to show you how to use the blend tool to create a color palette in Adobe Illustrator. And I'm, I'm actually going to do this twice to show you how cool um, this, this technique works in terms of creating um, a full spectrum of colors with very little work um, and you can tweak it a couple different ways. To start with, I've started, I've selected three colors. I happen to select a yellow, a red, and a blue primary um, paint colors uh, because this would be similar to mixing paint um, when you were, were mixing on a palette. Um, and I am going to stretch these out a little bit, so I'm going to give them some space. So I'm going to start with the yellow and when I hold the option key and click and drag I can make a second copy of this yellow and then I'm going to use, I'm on a PC, control D, this would be command D on a Mac to do the exact same thing and make another copy. Um, control D, I always think about it as do it again, do it again, do it again, like a little kid. Um, it's actually object transform, transform again um, in the menu panel being all wonky. So object transform transform again is where it lives in the menu. So to start with I'm going to mix yellow. I actually only need two yellows because we know what the yellow looks like. Um, I'm going to start by mixing yellow with the red color and then I'm going to mix it with the blue color and then the only other mix we need in this combination is the mix between the yellow and the blue. That will give us all of our uh, tertiary colors, so, or our secondary colors, primary colors, secondary colors. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. Oops. Move it over here, make a copy. Again, just holding the Alt key, the Option key on a, on a Mac. I'm going to select those, make sure they're, I like things to be really well organized. It's just a foible. Um, okay, so here's what I will have. I will have a blend between yellow and the red. I will have a blend between the red and the blue, and I will have a blend between the yellow and the blue. So that's all of our mixes. I'm going to go ahead and take this and make a copy of it so we can do this again with another set of colors here in just a minute. Just drag it down there. And the blend tool is this little guy in the toolbar that goes from a white square to a black circle. Um, if you double click on this, it's going to bring up the blend tool options. And I think I want three steps between each one. So that will give me um, the primary color that I click on, the secondary color in the middle, and then the two tertiary colors. We can do this all in. So I'm going to want three steps in between each color. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I think really quick before I do this I'm going to move these so that we have a little bit more space. So the blend tool is like uh, Photoshop or Illustrator magic in that it makes a smooth transition between whatever you select and whatever or whatever the two things you select are. It works with text, it works with colors, it works with all kinds of things. In this case we have rectangles that are the only thing we are making a blend between is the colors. So I'm just going to double check that those settings are still the same. The blend tool will allow you to click any one object and then when you click a second object it will make a blend between those. So here we have the transition we have from this yellow to this red. Here's our secondary color and each of the tertiary colors. If I continue and click on the blue over here, we get the same thing. There's the, the um, red, the, the red violet, the violet, the blue violet, and the blue. I'm going to hit the escape key. That's going to tell Illustrator we're done with this process. And I'm going to click off that blend so that I'm not adding additional colors to it. I'm going to go back to the blend tool now and click our yellow and click our blue. And there we have this, the um, tertiary colors, the smooth transition from this blue to this, uh, from this yellow to this blue. Now, if I wanted to make these into a set of swatches, 
for my swatches panel, what I would do is I would go to um, Object and go to Blend and I would expand this blend. That's going to make each one of those its own color. And I can make a new color group. And I tend to like to make my process colors global. And there we are. We have a nice selection of colors from the, from the three colors that we started with. A nice selection that we could work with. All of those colors are going to blend together well. They're going to look nice. I'm going to go ahead and come down here and we're going to tweak these colors in our bottom set. And I'm going to use the Recolor Artwork dialog box to do this um, just because it's one of my favorite tools and I really like it. And I'm just going to change these colors. I'm going to change the hue on each one of these colors so that you can see what happens if we change these. Like if we really drastically change these colors. Let's make this a little bit orangier red. That was a really, make it a nice warm red instead of a cool red. And again, when I get my blend tool, I'm going to click on my first shape, click on my second shape, go from my second shape to my third shape. The, remember, I'm going to hit escape because I want to get off of these. So then I'm going to get the blend tool again and click from the yellow to the blue. And there we have it, a second set of um, colors that we could use for our work. And again, in this case, because it's a blend, I did not expand this blend. I wanted you to see this. You do have to expand the blend before you make the color group, otherwise it will not show up. So I can go object, um, blend, expand. That's going to turn those into boxes. They're each is their own shape now. And if I want to intensify any of these colors, like maybe I want to play with this green color and come in here and up the saturation, tweak it however I want. And then when I make my color group, I will have, again, a nice set of colors that work really well together. I hope that was helpful.